I just can't wear it very often because I'll make it really dirty. So it's got to be just for special occasions. <laughs> like this? Yeah. <laughs> Need any exciting thoughts about this? No, I'm sad that we missed the. La I missed the last ten minutes last time. You haven't watched. You never watched them. Just on on your YouTube channel. No. Well, I want you to know that your absence led to quite the the um, the debate in our com our comments. Ever yeah. thought that you're mad at me and stormed off? Well, I wasn't, but I do feel validated when other people do stuff like that. <laughs> That's gonna really help. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay. We're done. Goodbye. F you. I do find it crazy, like it's like not fair that Robin lives in this huge, gorgeous mansion, and Janelle is in like a one-bedroom apartment. Doesn't seem right. No, it definitely doesn't. Especially when she's the money maker of the family. Janelle yeah. is. Yeah. Mary's hair looks nice there. Okay. Yes. It, but with Robin, <laughs> it's because she has more kids, right? That's the that's the logic. At home. Yeah. Yeah. She's got like five kids, right? How many kids does she have? She's five. Janelle has six. One at home. Mary has a beautiful house like that too, but but because she's like. She drew a line in the sand because she she never felt like she got enough because she didn't have as many kids. Mm -hmm. So she is a nice, I think, beautiful house. I know what he yelled at me in the car the other day. Choose me or, you know, choose your loyalties or you won't have a husband. I feel like he's just looking for ways to get rid of me. So that's one of the things that she sort of started talking about last episode was that she thinks he wants her out of the relationship and is acting this way in an effort to create a split. Do you think that's Cody's intention? No. I think he's feeling jealous of her relationship with Christine. Yeah. I, I Yeah, that's my... I don't think... Everybody thinks that Cody is a master manipulator. I don't think he's got... I don't think he's doing any master... Nothing's masterful about what he's doing. Mm -mm. I think he's just super emotional about Christine bailing on, bailing on him and he's pissed that anybody would possibly maintain a relationship with her. Janelle and I spent months building up to the big fight we just had. I'm not looking for mea copas here. I'm not looking for an apology. Liar. <laughs> so when she talks about me being mean, I see her as the one that's mean here. Why do they have to have the camera so close to their faces? I think maybe she's doing her own filming. I, she is, but, but like someone, Cody does the same thing where they talk like, you know, that's funny that you say that because I feel like they've had years of training. Never in a million years did I think I would get in this position. Choose him, choose my children. No, it's the editing. They edit it like that. Oh. It's the same angle, right? So here, this is how she's recording it, I think. And they're punching in Oh. for that weird shot. I don't know who this guy is. Oh. I'm stuck. I can't believe I got myself into this position. I feel so bad for her. She's always the stoic one. This is the first time that I've seen her be upset. Like, be visibly emotional. I haven't spoken to Cody since the day he walked out the door. No text, no conversation, and he hasn't been in contact with Savannah either. Can you imagine him not calling his daughter Savannah? Right. Right. Like, that, that piece of his behavior, I can't, I can't wrap my head around. I understand being mad at her and that you're in a fight with your wife and I get it. The the icing out your kids is crazy to me. Well, I mean, your focus is cheese, which is important. Okay, noodles. More noodles, which are right there. Wait, is that her brand? Is that Strive with Janelle? Does she have a brand? Is that her apron? That's the path for her, is merch. She's got a whole army of people that are behind her. I was gonna tell you, you needed to make a Team Janelle shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we should do that. Cause I would buy it. Okay, <laughs> okay. There was something else that you, people always say, you have like a lot of, there's a lot of merch that could be created based off of your comments. Really? Yeah, and people, every once in a while, people will say like, you should do a piece of merch off of that. And I just, I just don't have time. Team Janelle. Yeah, okay, we'll make Team Janelle shirts. The, but can I tell you, I like the tradition of lasagna. Instead of the seven fishes? I I am not feeling the seven fishes. 
That's what that's what our family does is seven like uh, everything from the sea and it just is a heavy ocean. I really like it. But I could, I feel like maybe we complement it with a lasagna. It has butterfly noodles. I don't care that the package says bow tie noodles. They're butterfly noodles. <laughs> Ebenezer Scrooge got the lucky shot of seeing what the what he looked like five years in the future. And maybe I need to look five years in my future. Every once in a while, he's shockingly insightful. Most often, I, I think he has, he's very dense. Every once in a while, he has a little pearl that makes a lot of sense, and then his behaviors don't back it up at all. Yeah. It's probably very awkward for Mary. Robin and I always have to tone down our romantic tension completely that sounds so awful to be there but that, I, that just I seems i just want to know why mary didn't go to janelle's like mary helped raise janelle's kids like she's sticking to suffering through that on christmas like why isn't she with her other kids I, because because she she made the wrong choice right like she she has always held the candle for Cody, and she always thinks that if she's loyal, and if she earns it, and if she does, she's subservient, and if she does all the right things that he says she needs, or he that he says he needs, then he'll come around. And so she's he's she has continually sided with him, and I think ostracized Christine when she was frustrated, and not created a strong relationship with Janelle when she was frustrated, and so now she's. Mary is stuck, and I think she's now realizing, well, wait a second, I'm in a, I have done, I've devoted my entire life to this tool, and he's still not treating me right. And now I'm stuck at this, you know, Christmas from hell. He's the with, worst. Yeah. He's the worst. And wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. We read through the nativity, we have an experience together. You know, tomorrow's gonna to be Christmas. We'll be super focused on who's here and who we love. Hold on. Didn't that sound a little bit like we don't love the people that are not here? We'll be super focused on who's here and who we love. Right? Except Mary. Yeah, except for Mary being in the corner with the dunce hat on. So we got scooters <laughs> and we got helmets for everybody. Motorized vehicles are not my favorite thing. I'm not excited. Do you know my dad did that for Christmas? Mm -hmm. He bought a bike for himself and all four of the kids when I was growing up. Did he talk to Kim about it? I don't know. I'm not sure how it went over, but yeah, he did talk to her. He did. And she was fine with it? Yeah, because Prince Harry uh, had one. I remember her saying, you know, I was against it at first, but if the royal family does it, then we can do it. It's Christmas Day. My boys are here. Savannah's here, but we are at a vacation rental. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Maybe this is just me not understanding how polygamy works, but doesn't Janelle see herself as a mom to the other wives' children? So, like, shouldn't shouldn't Janelle, if she was really invested in maintaining the family, if that was her goal, shouldn't she also be reaching out to Mary's kids, Rob, or Mary's kid, Robin's kids, Christine's kids? Like, wouldn't you think that they would all be wanting to call and connect with yeah. the children? I do think that's a bit, like, specifically Christine, like Christine's kids. Like, it's, yeah. to me, it's weird that they're not all together because they basically all grew up together. I feel like the tension has been building with Robin's kids, so they might, nope, like, based on the text message chain or whatever, mm -hmm. no one feels, but you're right, like... I mean, if that's how they always claim that they were, there was more moms, and but maybe it's right. just like an aunt. Maybe they're more like aunts. But my aunt calls me on Christmas. Yeah, always has. You know what I mean? I, I, there's it feels a little bit like maybe a lot of people are, you know, feeling emotionally injured and then retreating. You know, mm -hmm. you know, after the fight, there was nothing, and that I just didn't see the point. Janelle was uh, just as absent as I was. Cody, you, those are still your kids. They're your kids. Like, maybe you don't talk to Janelle. But, it, again, it's your wife, too. Like, but those are your kids over there. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe she's culpable because you guys both aren't talking, but you did walk out, Cody, and ended the conversation, and you, you know, the tennis ball has gone dead on your side of the court. I'm yeah. so pissed it's off a, at it's him. A, it has to be a hell of a fight for you to not reach out to your wife on Christmas. I'm really mad you know? at him. I like the barrel under their table, though. My loyal wife and her children, we... We want something special. Okay, I have a question for you because someone told me that I had ADHD. Mm -hmm. That, like, it's really easy for ADHD people to do out of sight, out of mind. And I know that you were thinking that maybe Cody had ADHD. So is is there any relevance to that statement? I was irritated by the statement I think in the moment. I think that there's, it's mm -hmm. easy for people that have ADHD to get distracted. And if they're thinking of out of sight, out of mind like when it comes to like tasks and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. then it's easy for ADHD, ADHD people, people that have ADHD to do that. But I think when it comes to emotions, I, at least I'm not aware of any data that would suggest that they're able to com compartmentalize better. In fact, I would argue that oftentimes people that have ADHD get hyper-focused on whatever the emotion is, and then they struggle when they move from task to task to be present on the given task because their brain is going somewhere else. Now that the world gets to watch what happens when, when they break down. And I hope that when people see that, they have compassion. Isn't that fair? What's that? Why, why are you so skeptical? It's fair. We should have, you don't look like, you don't, that doesn't look like you were, were feeling grace. I am not having compassion for Cody. <laughs> okay. I have, comp all right, well, fine, but I, and I have compassion for that. They, they did. I think they were all well-intended, right? Like they did want to show that their family was functional. And I think they could have done that, but Cody lost his mind. Yeah. He literally lost his mind, and because of that, like, and he's still unable to find it. Like, he's so confused. And I want to be like, how are you confused? You didn't show up at your daughter's surgery. You're histrionic all the time. Like, you have a personality disorder, and... And you, you like, didn't call your daughter or your sons on Christmas. I don't care who you are. Can I be a monogamist? Can I manage this? I mean, this this is smaller. Mary's still there. I know. They, they're really moving quick to remove Mary. Well, no, I, I feel like he, does, he, like, wants Mary out. Yeah. And she's not getting the hint. And, like, it is... It is awful. We do have to give her credit for being exceptionally loyal. She mm -hmm. is... Vi talk about a loyal mm -hmm. wife. The place you have been Lonely, before. but loyal. You know how society's been for, you know, eons of time. That any strong man would have more than one woman. Eons of time. Cody really identifies as the strong man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. There's this term of sacred loneliness. Sacred loneliness? I've never heard this term. I've always thought it was so dumb. Sorry. Yeah, plural marriage can be lonely. Yeah. I think it's funny that they all, like, separately was like, what? No. And, and Robin's like, mm-hmm. It mm -hmm. can be lonely mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but in Cody's defense, it's not unlike other religious, you know, other faith, systems of faith. Catholic Church, priests, nuns, they're celibate. And the idea is that by giving yourself to God in that way, or, or, or by withholding that desire, that you become closer to God. Like, the, 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 philosophically, it's not that unreasonable. What do you think? I have so many thoughts. What are you telling me about your thoughts? No, because they can't be in here. What are they saying? Come on. We're for sure not. <laughs> Until you've sat in the seat and tried to meet the emotional, spiritual, physical, uh, mental needs of four women, you know, it's like there's a hubris that comes with judgment. And th that's a reasonable statement. There is a hubris. And we, I can just, we can just react to it and think Cody's really failed. I think he really has sincerely failed, but it probably is harder than we give it credit for. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine trying to meet everyone's, uh, all those needs. 
But maybe they just should have, instead of done polygamy, they should have done some polyamory. So Christine and everybody else, could, everyone gets their needs met. Can you imagine her selling it to Cody? Cody, look, I want to stay in the principal. But, you know. We haven't had sex in 12 years. Jim Bob down the road. Stop using Jim Bob. I can't, Why? <laughs> because that is the, the eight Duggar guy's name. Oh, he'd be down. Which which Duggar is he? Nineteen and counting. Oh, he's the owner of it. He's the dad in it. Okay, fine. I you hate know. Jim Bob. I, mean, he's <laughs> I don't know why I come up with the name. Come on. Luis down the road is available. All right, and I like. Luis I've taken better. a shine to Luis. <laughs> yeah, but I do believe a hundred percent that he regrets marrying me. That is so sick. Get the hell out of the relationship. Can you imagine that being in a marriage and you feel that way? It's a, I mean, her self-worth must be so low because, like, she stays and he, you know, I think they've been in a relationship for 30 years, married for 30 years. She's put up with that. I want to grow horns right now so bad. I want to say mean things. I want to be a jackass. You know, be the ass she said I was. Cody has a, I think Cody has a strong feeling that people have misbehaved. And because they're not operating in alignment with the sort of the rules and the guidelines that they signed up for originally. In, in Cody's mind, this is what the family looked like. You all agreed to it when you joined, and now you're complaining about what the family looks like. Mm -hmm. And he's not recognizing his role in it. He's just seeing these people be hypercritical of him for doing what he believes he said he was going to do. And when you lose that and you feel like you failed even to God, you get in this place where it's like, well, I should just be the devil I think I am now. What I think what he's what he's feeling is reasonable. Like I know it's like it's fun to make fun of him for being on whatever, being on TRT and for him not having any self awareness. But the emotional experience of feeling like you've done right by everybody and then the whole you know, your family and then the whole world thinks you're the devil and you're going like, Well, where's my like Where's the reward for being who I think I've been? It is a reasonable, not reasonable, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a typical response. The two youngest are still loving me back. And I'm thinking about a stupid thought to want to run from this when the only thing that loves me still, yeah. I'd be abandoning. He's thinking about rubbing, running from Robin too. That's what he's saying. That's the, that's the gremlin is saying, bail not just on Mary, Bail not on Janelle, but bail on everybody and head to Mexico or whatever. Mm -hmm. Find a family that loves him. All he cares about, he just wants to be loved. Like that is the, this whole thing, remember he said last season, it's all about ego, baby. You just got to feed that beast. And as people have gotten older, they're not, they're no longer feeding his ego by telling him how wonderful he is. I run away from my life. You know, just escape, just... Um... So sorry for the interruption. I'm, I'm watching this a second time here as I edit it, and Cody seems pretty dark here. And I feel like it was a miss that I didn't talk about his kind of global well-being, his safety, things like that. So um, in my follow-on review that I'll do later this week, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss that. So I'm sorry I missed it. I'm kind of thinking he should say, call and say, hey, I want to see you. I don't think it's her place to chase him and say, I want to see you, Dad. It's not. It's not. He should call. And Janelle should also call him and go, what the f***? See your dog. Like, they need to parent together. We were opening presents. Cody started asking me to come over and sit with him. Yeah. I didn't want to make a big scene. I don't want to rub this in McKelty and Isabel and Trulie's face. Not Where's Mary? She didn't get invited right now, to the second. The this is a separate Christmas without Mary. Next time on Sister Wives. I am making some changes. Peace out, sayonara bitches. <laughs> Too many lines. In there. Dang it. That's the one I want to see. Don't you? Yeah. I wonder if it's after that conversation where where Robin's like, well, it's all hard. And Mary's like, see ya. <laughs>